going to my favorite place called the Little Island. I like how they still leave some of the train tracks as a reminder of what it used to be. Come on, down the ship's just about to begin. Boobies! <laughs> Before I head out, I'm gonna show you my Skims haul. I've been super excited for this moment. Skims is a brand that's created by Kim Kardashian. It's a clothing brand that's consisted of like underwear, bras, loungewear, shapewear. So I bought a couple of stuff and I just wanted to share with you in case you ever think of buying it. It's worth the hype except the price is kind of steep. I think I'm done purchasing from Skims this trip. Um, but the good thing is, it is available for shipping to Malaysia. It's actually quite reasonably priced. But since I'm in the US, I wanted to take opportunity of the free shipping if I spend $75 and above. So that's what I did. So the first thing is what I'm wearing right now. This is from the Fits Everybody collection. It is called the Square Neck Bodysuit. This is in the shade Sienna and I wanted a color that's like a few shades darker than my skin tone just so that, you know, I don't look like I'm not wearing anything. It feels very soft and buttery. I actually want to get another top but like a different cut and maybe in black. I love the square neck. It's very flattering. A lot of people say that they don't actually have to wear a bra inside because it's actually double layer. It gives good support and doesn't show your nipples but it actually shows mine so I wore the nipple cover. Next is the loungewear. I like wearing like loose and baggy stuff at home. I got the crop tank and boxers from the boyfriend collection. It is one size smaller than what I would usually wear only because it is more like baggy so I would recommend to size down. It fits me just right. It's not too tight. It's not too baggy and also the waistband is fitted enough not too tight and not too loose that it's like Flimsy. Though we want comfy, we also want to look cute. I've never worn a boyfriend's boxers before but um, this is what I imagine it would feel like. It's very comfortable. I feel like getting more but it's so expensive. If you ask me what is my favorite piece from Skims, I really cannot choose because I love them all. I would say the same for this cotton rib plunge bralette. This one looks like it's saggy and stuff but I tell you when you wear it, my boobs aren't that big and this makes my boobs look really pretty. I know I'm gonna wear it at home so no one's gonna see, it's more for myself to see. This bralette is super comfortable to just wear at home. Enough support without like the wires and the bra straps digging into your shoulders and stuff. And to match with that, I got the cotton rib boxers. This is the everyday crew socks. I bought these because I wanted to wear it with my boots but it's actually kind of too long but it's okay, I'll just like fold it down. It's actually very comfy and it says skims across the board my size would be s unless i'm getting a bit oversized items or like this bodysuit that is very stretchable then i would size down to an excess i will leave all the products and the links and my sizes and the colors down below so you can just refer to if it helps you um spend some money i'm gonna take a little self-care moment before i head out and by that i mean removing unwanted hairs my armpit hair so that i can wear sleeveless tops like this one with ease i've been going for laser hair removal for the past year but there's still some maintenance to be done and since i travel often i find it a bit of a hassle to schedule my travel time with my appointment time and that's why i'm excited to introduce to you the just for her magami petite IPLA device. Basically, laser hair removal on the go. Bringing this portable hair removal device with me when I travel means that I no longer have to worry about missing my appointments. The device is very small as you can see. It doesn't take up a lot of luggage space or weight. And if you guys are frequent travelers like me or overpackers like me, this is very compact. I can throw it in my luggage bag, my carry-on bag, even my backpack. I can zap hairs anywhere, anytime. The petite IPLA is pretty much painful. You don't even feel it like a rubber band lasting in you. So I'm really happy that I mustered up the courage to actually use the device because when I'm traveling, I don't want to worry about hairs growing back. I'm very thankful to have this device with me so I can continue wearing cute sleeveless tops like this without worrying too much and the best part is I can also zap other parts of my body without signing up for a package. Win. To prep, I will shave whatever existing hair that I have. Then I'll turn on the device and select the level I want. I usually use levels 4 to 5 by default for any body part. I'll do the entire surface area once and then go back the second time and then I'm done.
I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. It comes in this pink box. Inside it is the very cute and petite IPLA device. A shaver to prep for your session, sunglasses to protect your eyes from the light, plug and a type C cable. It also comes with a manual book. The good thing about this manual is they included how frequent you should be doing your laser sessions. This is great because as someone who goes for frequent laser sessions, I know that I have to go for my appointments every 4 weeks. However, this is a laser hair removal device on the go, so it's not as heavy duty as the ones that they use at the salon. So I wasn't really sure how frequent I should use it, so the manual definitely comes in handy. If you're interested in the Petit IPLA laser hair removal device, be sure to check out the description box down below. That's where I'll link the website where you can purchase it from. Okay, enough of that, let's go out for some meal time. Favorite place, which is called the Little Island. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do. You're with me, it felt like suddenly our souls collided, hearts entwined. When I decided to make you mine, I'm never going back. I know that's a Myself coming down, you're not around. I'm not quite done reading my book yet, but I'm getting really hungry because I came here wanting to buy from the food trucks, but they're not open for some reason. So now I'm just gonna make my way to Chelsea Market and get some food. This is love if it seems I don't care at all That your love hit me like a cat well, I used to worry about my options Worry about my options Yeah, I used to think too much Early lunch, and now I'm at the High Line, just walking the old railroad, which should turn into a walkway. It's so nice to just hang out here. on the High Line because there's just so many benches to sit at. Even this place where it's a little secluded and you have a really nice view of the street. So I like how they still leave some of the train tracks just like as a reminder of what it used to be.
you gotta do is take your two balls, gently roll them up the table, try to penetrate your god in any hole you want. Okay. All right, friend, nice to Thank done. you. No oh, I got number two. I'm a sex goddess. Right. <laughs> Please select your union. Press one for spring. Please enter the groom's name. to do some yoga poses. <laughs> we have come to the end of the museum. It has been so fun. It's actually more fun and interactive than dirty if anything. I would highly recommend you guys to come and experience. Oh, this is a coloring book. Wow, it's very educational. This is a bottle opener. They actually sell these rags and there's like penis pans. This is not a regular bear. Oh my gosh, they even have card games. They even have like a travel set. This consists of a massage oil, kissable honey dust, bath soap and a massage candle. For dinner tonight, we are having Hai Di Lao, but this time it's the soup version and we're using the tomato broth. Inside this pot, we have corn, napa cabbage or Chinese cabbage, broccoli. We're gonna put in some enoki mushroom which always disappears because it shrinks like crazy. We're also gonna put in some soft tofu, our beef which we're gonna dip in the soup and some dumplings. We have two yummy drinks. Well, I don't consider this yummy because I don't like ginger. <laughs> but I'm gonna try out the Health Aid Kombucha in Cherry Berry and Rebecca's is Olive Pop Ginger Lemon. Okay, you are ready to this one then. I'll it. Is it good? It's not bad, but I think I like the wild tonic one because it's more like minty and fresh. Ooh, got my favorite corn. Mm. Good. Good. We need some rice, so I need some balance. 